Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Dev Chanel's 48th World, where we get down and do reviews, and we just talk, and we just sing, and we have a good little time. Okay? Don't know how your day went today. Did Was it bad? Was it good? Was it fair? But I know sometimes when you get a little singing going on, you tend to make everything just dissolve away. So why don't we do an up? upbeat type of song to get us into this mood that I'm going to be talking about this housewife of Atlanta. Okay, she's doing her thing. She's had a rough time, but sometimes we just need to be picking each other up, you know what I'm saying, in song and dance and just a little entertainment here. So if you know someone that needs this or you need it yourself, you join right on in while we go on and sing this thing together, okay? It's called Ain't No Stopping You Now by uh, Max Fadden and Whitehead. Something like that because I'm getting a little cold myself. But I just need a little pick-me-up. I can't hit the high notes. You know what I'm saying? Some people can appreciate my singing. Some people can't. But sometimes you have to ask yourself, do I need to be listening to this person? If they're getting on my nerves, if they can't sing, they just getting on my nerves with their singing or whatnot or their antics or their entertainment. Should you be on this channel? This is what I keep asking myself when I get people in my comment section saying this, that, and the third. Ah, oh, we must remember this is my platform, okay? And I get down the way I get down. And I would like to have like-minded people watching me. Because God knows I'm not going to be sitting up here trying to be entertained with somebody I don't appreciate. I'm not even going to be on their channel, okay? But that's just me. Maybe I'm just being too simple-minded. I don't know. But anyway, those are the ones who have supported me. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. The ones that are on the fence, come on over here. You know we have a good time, all right? And I try to make things interesting. And the, and the ones that are thinking about uh, or just have already have subscribed to me, thank you, thank you, thank you. I need your support. You know I need your support, okay? I've been asking for every video, and I try to ent entertain y'all every video. But let's get on into this song. Now, for all your haters, you can sing this song, or you just keep it in your mind and just refresh yourself as you go along. Because everybody's not going to like you. They're not going to like you because how you talk, how you look, how you walk, how you dress, how you express yourself. And, you know, sometimes they don't like you because you're just damn smart, okay? Or you're just so damn likable. It's just the way it is. But don't let that be a reflection on you. Keep doing you. Keep shining. Keep doing what makes you happy, okay? Now, this song goes, I know you know someone that has a negative vibe. And if you're trying to make it, they only put you aside. They really don't have nowhere to go. Ask them where they're going. They don't know. Let nothing hold you back. We're going to pull ourselves together. We're going to polish up our act now. If you've ever been held down before, I know you refuse to be held down anymore. Well, don't you let nothing, nothing, boom, 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 stand in your way, oh. I want y'all to listen, listen, till every word I say, every word I say, ain't no stopping you now. We're on the move, I know, I know. Ain't no stopping you now. You got the groove. Mm. Boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo Ain't no stopping you now. You on the move. Yes. And I really, really do love you. Okay, so keep that in your mind when you're out there fooling with folks and they try to get on your nerve because they're always trying to get up in your business, okay? And they're trying to tell you, no, you shouldn't do this because this and you terrible and this. Forget them, okay? Forget them. Throw them in the back of your mind. You keep moving forward. Okay, but let's get on into this little story I just told y'all about, okay? It's going to be focused on King Okay? Can you want to try to do things out there? She's trying to shake and bake and trying to make it happen for her and her baby girl, okay? That's what she's trying to do, and I ain't got nothing but love for her, okay? But this is where we're getting it from. And I just thought going to lost it. It's coming from blackamericaweb.com. If you're not knowing anything about them, go on and check them out. All right. Go on over to blackamericaweb.com. They have a lot of salacious stories. And this story is where we're going to be getting it from. Okay. 
uh, I think it's a Miss Kiera Kelly, Kiera Kelly, who's putting out the article. She did it six hours ago. I'm just now getting to it, okay? Because I had to do some things before I came on the tube, all right? Personal things. Then, but, you know, taking care of your bills and stuff like making payments and all that kind of thing. If I must give y'all that information. I know, I'm just saying. Too much information. I get it. But anyway, let's go on into the story. The title was, Kenya Moore opens up about how motherhood has changed her. I am definitely more compassionate. Now, that's what Kenya's saying, y'all. This is what she's saying. But it ain't, you know, it's kind of, you know, giving you a side out here and there. Because she keep getting into it with NeNe Leaks. Okay? We got a story for NeNe Leaks, too. But we're just going to give her what she give us and we're going to see the bright side because we want to uplift when we can. And when we have to call a spade a spade, we give them a spade card or card and we uh, chastise them accordingly. But this is a good one for Kenya Moore. And I want to toot her horn. I want everybody to know, hey, I'm neutral. Well, if I had to call a spade a spade, it just is what it is. OK, it goes on to say reality TV, TV star Kenya Moore isn't letting heartache Stop her work ethic. I know that lady saw her dollar. Okay. She's like, okay, I had a man. Okay, I had the baby. Woo wee. And I got my career back. So, hey, three out of, let me see, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> That's how I'm looking at Kenya and rolling with her. Okay. The 48 year old is busy handling her multiple entrepreneurial ventures while being a devoted mother to her almost one year old daughter, Brooklyn Daly. More recently split with the father of her child and husband of two years. Mark Daly, after appearing on an episode of the Tamara Hall show where she called him the love of her life. Okay, the love of my life is how she expressed it, y'all. But the two went their separate ways and are now committed to co-parenting their daughter. Okay, in a recent interview with Upscale Magazine, he told the mag that motherhood has changed her entire life. I'm like, okay. Yes, it has, because she's been glowing a lot. She's dropped weight. People were concerned. Um, in one article that I read, that she was losing too much weight. But now, honey, she looked like a, a slim size 7 or 10. She could be a model if she really put her heart to it. But I guess she's like, oh, I don't want to do that. I want to just make some dollars showing myself. And, you know, I want to style myself and stuff, stuff of that nature. Because, you know, most models, it has been documented that they do do a lot of things to stay thin. And it's not always healthy. Okay, so I like how she has definitely, well, she ain't never been fat to me. The only thing that has really happened is she, her belly blew up, but that was due to the baby. And it, I don't know if she had a tummy tuck or not, and, you know, not really my concern, because, hey, if you have a tummy tuck when you have a baby, if you if they're going to pay for it, or you got their insurance to pay for it, hell yeah, go get yourself slammed back down, especially if you're talking about popping another one, like, back to back, like stair step. But, uh, yeah. She's been looking fabulous, and she don't look anorexic to me or uh, some of her commenters or followers. They were saying she was being a little too thin and this and that. I'm like, no, I didn't see that, okay? She uh, snapped back real quick, fast in a hurry, and looking fabulous, okay? But uh, goes going on back to the article, it says, I am definitely more compassionate, she explains for the cover story. I'm 100% more patient. I feel more kind. But I'm less tolerant of fake news and people who are dis, uh, disingenuous or not kind. Now, not to do a sidebar on that one, Kenya. You know, you, you be kind to folk. They used to be kind to you. That's just how it goes. And so, unless you got haters out there, they're going to hate you either way. But you are built for that kind of uh, uh, arena. You don't care whether they like you or, or they do like you. You're going to get yours and you're going to smile all the way to the bank. That's how I perceive you. And I never said that you were like a bad, bad person. I was hoping you were just acting like this on TV. Uh, not like Nene be out there and don't want to be disturbed at the airports and stuff. And you saw how she get now. She don't even bother with you. She get on her phone. And, you know, it's just a whole big other issue there. Okay. But. You're saying that you're being more compassionate, more understanding of people, but you have to get a, a eager toe if they come at you sideways. I get you understand it very clear. Thank you for being transparent. Going back to the article, it said, I strive to be the best mother I can be. I'm very attentive and believe it's believe me, it's important to make her feel like she is the most important person in my life, more said. Now, I understand that, can you? But I do a sidebar on you. Sometimes you can't, um, what do you call it, uh, live through your little girl vicariously in hopes that you wish you have had a childhood like hers, though. 
I'm still thinking you need to have a little counseling there because you can't make Brooklyn your central world. You know, she can't be your all and everything because that's just too much attached, uh, you know, what do you call it, obsessiveness there. And I don't say it in a bad way. It's just like, you know, she's going to grow up and she's going to want you to kind of cut some of them strings. Like she can't be, you can't be with her 24 7. So, as we all parents, we like to be, you know, overly cautious, making sure they have all their fundamental uh, development gears and everything's just perfect. But we don't live in a perfect world. Things are going to happen. You know, she's going to have some unhappy times and some things you're not going to be able to straighten out for her. She's going to have to learn something she's going to be able to have in this world and something she's not going to be able to have. And then again, you know, since, you know, y'all in the celebrity world and the wealth of world, she may have it. But, you know, we need to give her a little balance there. And I'm not saying you're overdoing it itself on the social media pages. But, you know, I've been told to shut my mouth. I do what I do and let you do what you do. But that's just a fear there that you may be exposing her too much. But other than that, yes, I think you're a fabulous mother, okay? So you do you, you continue to do you, I continue to do me, and I keep reporting, you keep making salacious stories for me. So it's like we watch out for each other. Thank you, Kenya Moore. Okay, but getting back to the article, it says, um, let me see, I tried to be the best by this point of view. Okay, she said that she and they were Brooklyn spent a lot of their time together, laughing, playing. She's the happiest baby, and I love to laugh with her. Her laughter is contagious. Most babies are laughable, most babies are, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they just a joy to be around. So, I understand that. Get your moments in. Keep uh, a lot of videos around because they grow up quicker than you will want them to. Okay, next she's going to be walking and tearing up your house around there. And you might think it's funny, but it, it ain't going to get funny after a while. Okay, but uh, yeah, keep her uh, close to you. Be attentive to her, but give her the space to grow. Um, <clears throat> Kenya. Then it says, um, as more travels the world for business or for real housewives, her baby girl stays close by her side. Brooklyn is my ultimate companion. Okay, see, that's why, you know, I throw a little ball game in now. You know, I'm like, what if you fall in love again, Kenya? You? you know, you got to have that space because you don't want to have her too close to you. She get used to you. So you get remarried again when she's like five or ten and it's just you you and her against the world and then you bringing somebody else that's gonna be some trouble in the queendom okay because she ain't gonna want her time that you etched out etched we call it etched out uh for her to be you know impeded upon so watch that as you go along because you know sometimes children get into that way of this that's always been you too and they want to keep it that way and then it's going to upset you later on because you're going to be like you want to find love in a man again or a woman or however you get down in the, in the near future uh but you know have the balance there and i think you're going to be wonderful okay um then we go back to, at this point, I cannot see me leaving the country without her. No, you don't need to leave the country with her. She's too far young. She's still in her formative years. You need to keep her close to you. Yes, I agree with that, Kenya. With baby and toe is clear, uh, Kenya isn't going to let her impeding divorce or uh, thwart her progress. I've been a corporation since I was 17 years old. She's talking about herself, her brand. That, that's her core. Uh, core uh, Corp uh, corporation. I'm sorry, guys. Can't get my thoughts together or my words together. Um, she told Upscale Magazine, whenever anything is difficult for me or trying or heartbreaking, she explains, I just know that you have to keep moving forward and being positive. Hence, my ain't no stopping you now uh, commentary singing. Kids not letting anybody uh, uh, wear her down with any dysfunction uh, that comes with people as you say, or the new generation say, hating on her. She don't care. I mean, she's living her best life and then some. She don't care who's for her. She don't care who's against her. She just knows how to make it happen for her. And I am so glad, okay? Because you don't need people getting in your business trying to tell you and then you, you take on their personality or, or their uh, baggage or whatever. No. I don't see Kenya ever doing that, okay? Now, the only person that may break her heart is her baby girl one day. But that's something her and her baby girl are going to have to work through. All right? But 
that was the end of Kenya Moore's story. You keep on twirling, keep on twirling. And Team Kenya is always going to be out there, just like it's going to be always a Team Nene, uh, Team Candy, Team Portia. I'm on everybody's team. But like I said, when I see a spade, I call them a spade, and I go and tell you why I'm calling them a spade, okay? But they ain't got to listen to me. Maybe they will see my video here or there. Who knows? But it's just my opinion. It's not etched in stone, and it shouldn't break nobody's bones, okay? But that's all I have for this story. I will be moving on to another one in a few minutes. So please drop all those likes. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Because you know I'm trying to get to that 10,000 mark. Okay? And I really, really appreciate it. And only you guys can get me there. So if you like my entertainment, you like my stories, please subscribe to the, to the channel and continue to um, watch each one as I drop them out. So make sure you're hitting that notification bell so you will be notified when I actually drop my video. So you can be the first, second, third, fourth, fifth to join in on all the fun that's happening over here at Deb Chanel's 48th World. But that's all I have for this video. Y'all get down in those comments, make y'all observations, y'all dialogue with one another. And I swoop down and I give y'all a little heart like, or I may even uh, continue the conversation to your dialogue again about what I put out. Okay, and don't forget to take those polls over there on my community channel page. Uh, scroll down. I have a, ooh, I have a ooh, about 12, 15, 17 um, going on. Make sure you let your voice be heard by answering some of the polls to your discretion or what you feel, what I put out there as a question that we ponder about sometimes, okay? Get into the discussion. That's what it's all about. It's no beefing over here. It's no taking sides. Well, I guess it is if you're like Team Kenya, Team Nene. Then you have to, you know, get into a little tiff tap. But don't be mean to each other because everybody have their opinions and they are valid. Whether we agree with them or not, they're coming for you. I take them as valid because you took the time to express them. Okay, all thing I ask is that you be uh, less cussing and less telling me what to do. <laughs> okay, but y'all have fun in them comments. Y'all keep, uh, you know, talking about the subjects. Uh, matters that I put out there and keep enjoying the show. Okay. And I appreciate you all once again. Peace and love. Bye-bye.